Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of uh, Gemini. For the rest of the month of December. To see what's going on here or catching up. With love and relationship. There is that love at the end. I like this one. Your energy is going to be clearing and it's really very good. What I'm looking at here at this time is money. You want to focus on your money, your business, your work, your finances. You want really to do good and you don't want to be really like a still in the same situation financially you feel like you know, that uh, you are behind and there are a lot of people who are slowing you down um some of you like you know, have been really waiting for a past relationship to return but it's taking longer it's taking longer and you are kind of like i don't know what to do maybe i should just hide and stop on communicating with this person because whatever this person is sending me or talking about is really all of it childish a lot of you like you know that yearning to the person that they love really very much here and they can't wait till this person call or come back by and this is someone from your past also i see that you are being cautious careful you don't want to be in trouble contacting another person and threat you you know i'm gonna do take some action toward you if you do because I see that, you know, lately that you are the one who took action to stop someone from contacting you. Because I see the contact, it happened from your ex-person. Your ex is with a person and they have been contacting you and you, and you took action and to stop them. Seems to be the law. Okay. For some of you, also, there is a great start with the new relationship because you have been really, like, you know, just uh, down, emotional. Um, uh, you were trying to be... Um, you want love. You want to feel the love. You want to be, like, you know, loved. You don't want to be caught in the drama. You know, you are a person at peace at this time, and you want peace. You want happiness. You want love. So you are trying to get a new relationship in your life. Your heart is open, you are forgiving, you are letting go a lot. Because some of you, even if you say, I don't want my ex, you, there's still that desire deep inside you, you want your ex and you are waiting for them. Um, but you feel like you, know, you don't want to be giving it any attention at this time because you want that, you do, you do not want that energy to drain you. Yep, Capricorn. Okay. For some of you, Capricorn, it doesn't have to be a Capricorn person, you know, but this is what I'm looking on at this time. And it sounds to be like, you know, that there is a lot of negative coming from an ex. It's not your ex. It's the person who are who is involved with your ex. This is when the negative, like, you know, really coming. Because a pet... Your ex is involved with someone and someone, that someone is really very negative towards you, like, you know, they are uh, angry, jealous, and you feel like, you know, there's negative energy there and you don't want to be really involved with it. It's like, you know, it's killing your uh, spirit and you don't want this drama. That's why if you tell yourself, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to deal with it or anything. Some of you is involved with the cancer here. The cancer like you know, that you have love for, they love you back. And I see that you are trying to move on, to move forward with this person actually, because the person like you know, the cancer here that has moved on and they haven't been giving you attention, but there is, this relationship is gonna get ahead here.
Whoever waiting for their exes, the person is involved with your ex is moving on. They see the light, shed lights like no more about the relationship and they are moving on. Some of you, they are, you are moving on from your ex, you don't want to deal with it. Some of you is going to take your ex, but it's taking longer a little bit here. Because it sounds like you know, every time you come closer, there is an interference from the other person who is involved with your ex. That's why I get here, it has been slowed down. Some of you that they are aiming on a new relationship and you want to be in it because you want to feel yourself, you want to look into yourself, you want to look good, you want to feel good because you have been in the dark with this ex for a long time and you don't want to deal with it anymore and you are kind of like letting go, forgiving, opening your heart for a new opportunity. I keep picking on someone from your past again. It's like, this is not going away. And your ex is not going away. Even if you try your best and you say like, no, that's it, I'm done. Okay? Don't call me. Don't contact me. Don't come near me. I moved to another city. The, your ex is coming. <laughs> Unfinished business. Unfinished business. Okay? For a positive new beginning. No matter what you do, they are coming. This person is holding on you. And you are holding on so much and you want it like you know, them to go away. But some of you that you want this person, you have love for one another. And this isn't really not and this not really getting anywhere like you know, to go away anywhere. It just it feels like you no know, weird because you want someone new, you you are done with this and for some of you. And you kind of like, I have been fair to you, leave me alone, Let, leave me be. But um, every time you say like, you know, that's it, I have done enough for you and everything. There is that fear, that restriction. Every time you want to walk away, but there is deeply that fear because the universe is, telling, is trying to tell you something. You are trying to close the lid on a situation that hasn't been finished yet. Is going to come to you. Even the other person have been looking into themselves and like, you know, they want to deal with others, uh, but they were still grabbing on you here and look for another one and another one. See that? But they have been disappointed with their choices because they know they did not really do the right choice. They confuse you and they are confused themselves because they feel right now that you are looking into yourself because some of you have already met someone else and the ex is, star is starting to get really unhappy at this time, crazy about it. It's like, hey, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just saying that, you know, I was just kidding. Where are you going? Because they know they still love you. You want to end it? But it's starting, it's not ending. There is a true love between you and your ex here. And whatever happened, it happened. Even if you try like to go to another relationship, it's like it's meant to be. You find happiness, you find fulfillment, but there is that love is going to come to you. It's like, whether I like it or not, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, what is this? But it is that time like, no, really, it's going to happen. Even if it's delayed or slow down, there is a healing process for both of you. At the end, you're going to connect again. Dear Gemini, I hope you enjoyed that reading. And uh, if you need a private reading for a specific person, Please contact me on mysticalaziza.com and um, for emailing me, please email me directly on aziza at mysticalaziza.com and uh, I welcome donations and to keep this channel, you know, going. 
and the link for donation like no is really below this video in the description box and for my website and my email happy holidays merry christmas to people who really celebrate christmas and thank you so much god bless bye